Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to properly starting the nursery. Now, you'd have seen in last week's video, we got the floor sorted and I didn't really treat that uh, as part of this project, but now we're really making a start on getting this room done. And uh, what I wanna do, now I've started taking the plasterboard down, show you what we're gonna be doing. So I'll grab the bit of paper and show you what the plan is. Plan of attack, as you can see it there is, we're gonna build a stud wall out. And what that's for, is a shower like that. So this is the bedroom, if you like, here. And then on the other side of the wall will be a bigger um, ensuite for the shower uh, coming this way because this room's a bit unnecessarily big. So as you can see there, this is the bedroom we're in. And then we're gonna rob a section of that wall and pull it into this bedroom, which will also create as an alcove for a fitted wardrobes, just round there. So. What the plan of attack is to come off um, about here like that out to where that mark is on the wall just next to the uh, aerial and then build a stud wall across and then that this space here will be the shower for the ensuite now what i've had to do to make sure this is not structural and i think probably in the uk Stud walls upstairs don't generally mean it's a, a, sorry, generally mean it's probably not supporting. Um, however, it's not to say it isn't supporting. So what I've done is just cut some holes, as you could see there, just to make sure that this stud wall is not supporting anything. Yeah. What I'm replacing it with is similar wood to this. Um, I think it's 4B2. Um, stud work and then we're going for the blue plasterboard now this room is the um, the nursery um, so we'll also so obviously we want it quiet in here with that being the shower the reason for the blue is acoustic um, plasterboard whether it does anything I don't know but we're also going to put some acoustic rock wool in there just to make it as quiet as I can possibly do with what I have. So that's what we're gonna do here. What I'm gonna do now is get this wall, or the plasterboard off this wall, and uh, then we can get going with the stud wall. start building the frame up I've got the the coving all cut down uh, and created the area and as you can see using the laser we've got straight line here all the way down uh, and that's going to be the far sort of the outside extremity of the wall as it comes down here and then returns in here so what I've had to consider for the opening is what do we need on the other side? And we're going for a 1500 mil uh, shower tray and that's gonna sit center in the room. So what we need on the other side of this wall is uh, 200 mil from that wall there to the, uh, to the stud that's gonna be inside. Then we need 1500, well, we need to consider the thickness of the plasterboard, 12 and a half mil, plus or the, the aqua board, um, plus the 1500 shower tray, 12 and a half mil for plasterboard again. And then that's what brings us to this line. So that's our limit uh, of the shower tray with the, and then the 12 and a half mil uh, aqua board. And then that's where our stud partition needs to run straight through, uh, like here. So this wall is going to protrude into the room beyond here. So what, I've done is that distance between this sort of stud and there is 47 mil. Fortunately for me, they sell 47 mil wood. So what the plan is to remove these two noggins, 
fit that to the face of this and then that can stay in. Then what I can do now is, once they're out, is cut that to length and fix it to there and then I've got a point that I can fix my wall to on this end and then eventually in the future when we take this down, when we do the ensuite, it's just a case of cutting up here and cutting down at the bottom uh, and then removing this uh, this partition stud wall. So that's what the plan is. I'm gonna get this fitted now, bring my saw up and everything and um, look to, to get that fitted and then we can start framing out from there. I'll just add, I've never done this before, so it's a bit of trial and error and we'll see how we get on. I don't think it's too difficult, um, but I'm just trying to plan ahead and think how, what the process is going forward. So let's get going and see what we get done. the first piece is in and what you can see I've had to pack it out at the top and the bottom because this piece here was not square and um, so because I want my finished sort of article to be square all I've done is put some window spaces in at the top and bottom uh, where I've screwed through and then that's that's sort of squared that up the distance between there and there is across the length plus one millimeter at the bottom, the top, and here is perfect. So I can cope with that. Then what else we've done is I've just chalk lined the floor roughly where it's gonna be. And I think I'm gonna start from the top and kind of work down because I want to fasten to the joist. And as you can see there where I've cut some small holes, uh, I know where the joist is now. So I think my first job is fix the ceiling plate to the joist, get that square. And this is square as well to the wall, that wall. So I've, what I've done is I've used a laser measure across there and it's two mil probably difference along the length. So I'm using that wall as my reference and then I'll get the, the ceiling plate on first then I can use a plumb bob to get the, the base plate in position. And then we can build sort of off that because I want to make sure that the wall is, you know, perpen is it perpendicular, the word? And um, yeah, so I'm going to go downstairs, get some wood, bring it up and then let's get cutting and, uh, and in position. So I have bought a few tools. Um, so we've obviously got that. The evolution chop saw that was gifted. Uh, brilliant machine, cuts anything. I've also bought a framing square, uh, a plumb bob, and um, just simple tools, cheap. Uh, I think it cost £11 for them and uh, would will make this uh, a lot easier. I'll use my laser measure, uh, laser level, but it's not very good. I can't see it very well even inside. So let's get going, get some wood and uh, Start cutting.
so it's harder than it than it actually looks so i've got the bulk of the main frame up now for the front i've not done this side but what will be done is a piece like that will butt up against here just to support this and sort of create that side and then this one is obviously for this wall here and uh, should be should be all plumb and straight i'm running out of space fast i just need to fasten this back up to the joist uh, now that i've got it all square and i'm happy so i'm hoping it's going to speed up a bit now and uh, and all uh, crack on a bit quick because uh, it's taking its time and I'm waiting tonight. So, yeah, I'm going to crack on now. I thought I'd stop and just uh, give you progress of where we're at. So, on this side, what I've done is there's actually some roll plug, grey roll plugs in the wall, and that's what that's screwed to. I did actually drop a bit of a doodah and cut that 10 mil too short. Uh, don't know how it happened, but it did. So, I'll have to reuse that somewhere else. Um, but it's coming together and um, yeah, we'll just keep going. So I'm going to top piece to the joist, uh, bottom. I might pack it out because obviously it's not, um, it, there's a big gap there. But the bottom, the floor, they're on both corners. So I'm just going to build off what we've got now and hopefully it will start to progress a bit quicker now. And uh, well, it's pretty solid already, so really pleased with it. Um, so. Let's keep going and try and get it done today. Just another note I wanted to, uh, to say is, so the plasterboard we've got is 1200, so I'm doing uh, 600 centers, um, and hopefully that'll be suitable for the plasterboard so you'll have a 600 there 600 here and then i think it's 500 on this one and then it'll be two sheets of plasterboard on the front and then obviously one cut to the suitable there so yeah just wanted to mention that little point now something else obviously you notice i'm not building the frame separately because it's too difficult so i'm going in at an angle with the screws it's proving very awkward to do um, but I'm hopeful that with the right tools I've got now, I should be able to, uh, to just crack on, get them sent to where I need, and then um, take it from there. up and uh, we're actually today when the video goes live um, as you can see work last night so uh, I'm a bit slower today uh, not that I'm fast anyway but the frame I got done last night uh, and in place is absolutely solid and um, we did this end bit here I added this piece in just to bulk that out and then put top piece in and then that end there so we've got all the noggins in now i sent my dad some pictures last night and he pointed out the quite large gaps which yeah i agree with um so i'm just going to move them two noggins down to make the openings a bit more uh equal and then uh yeah we can uh, get the plasterboard 
on and in place. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to get going. Uh, I'm tired and I don't know what I need to speak about with this. So yeah, let's just get going, get it done and uh, finish. But it's looking great. <laughs> Plasterboards on. These are mega heavy, so I'd suggest if you're using them, uh, try two people lift them because it's near on uh, impossible to do a neat job. Hence, the cutting at the top, which is uh, maybe something to be desired, but it's a lesson learnt for me. This one cut a lot better, um, but yeah, I kind of chopped and hacked at that one, unfortunately. However, I'm not too concerned. Kelvin's going on there um, and then, yeah. So I've not done the end because I want to get this video on and um, I've still got a bit of wiring to do and I've run out of clip, cable clips. Um, so I'll have to go and get some of them. Uh, and then we're, we're on about, we want to tell it on the wall somewhere. So I'll do that off camera, but yeah, a bit of a run through of what we've done and why. So creating a partition wall um, to make the ensuite that's on the other side of here larger. So this actual area will be the shower, but will also protrude about 300 mil into there. And this wall will come down when we actually get around to doing um, the ensuite. Um, the reason I'm doing it like this is we've got a baby on the way um, due in a couple of months and I want to get the nursery finished um, so this is a big sort of player to get that to get that done and um, at least this is ready now uh, I've just obviously I've had little bits of electrics that I just mentioned but uh, I can now get onto the plasterer to get this skimmed it, skimming is something I want to do myself and have a go at but um, I don't have the time at the moment we're going straight from this into the garden project to get that finished so yeah i'll just leave it to the plasterer it doesn't actually cost that much to uh, to have a wall skim so yeah that's where we're at the acoustic board is on i have got some acoustic rock wall to go on the inside again i just need something to sort of strap it in um so i'll figure figure that one out um over the next few days but yeah really pleased with the effort first time ever building a stud wall and uh, putting plasterboard on, on my own anyway, and uh, quite pleased with the effort. So what we need to do now, I'll finish the electrics, get that end board on and uh, take it from there. But as said, I want to get this video on today and um, yeah, we'll get it done another time. So thank you for watching. I hope it's give you an insight into building a stud wall. Like I said, this is the first time I've done it. so. Um, it's not really an hour to, but uh, I'm pleased with the efforts and hope it gives some ideas uh, and helps along the way of research. So, thank you for watching. Please do give it a thumbs up. Please make sure you subscribe for more videos to come and make sure you head over to the Instagram, the underscore DIY underscore journey for more day to day updates like this as we're progressing through each project. So, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>